Okay, I think we'll be looking to go for online today. We're going to be looking at how an instructor decides whether a student goes solo. So you've already gone solo a while back, but you've had a big break and you're flying. Yep. So we're going to get you to try and get you solo again today. So a couple of a few things I look for is that first of all, are you consistently safe? Now, if I have to come on the control, if I have to verbalise you in, in part of the landing or hold off or any part of the circuit. That to me is that you're not being consistently safe and you're needing someone there to help you get through it. Okay, so basically, if I become very quiet during your, your standard circuits, you know you're getting close to silo. And if I'm not coming on the controls, you're definitely getting very close. We've done all the emergency procedures in the previous lessons, yep. and I've simulated a balloon to see whether you can handle a, a balloon or a bounce, which you can. Yep. Uh, the other thing, as far from an instructor point of view, I won't send anyone silo if the crosswind gets above about five knots, yep. uh, or about ten knots in total, uh, if they haven't done much solo work for, for the for the first or second solo in particular, yep. or if it gets too busy in the traffic pattern. Okay. Okay. So there are there are a few variables there. So what, what we're going to see today is I want you to just to fly the circuit, pretend I'm not there basically, yep. and um, I'll only come on if I think there's a safety issue. Yep. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Do good looks help me get through? Good. <laughs> No, that doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you at the end. Okay. Okay, let's go and do it. Okay. Climate traffic swing 8668 is taxiing runway 05 Climate. That'll wake him up if he if he's he, he might be doing run-ups as well. Yeah. But he should be doing run-ups there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Climate traffic swing 8668 is rolling runway 05 for circuits, Climate. Alright, you ready? Yep. Clear yeah. down traffic, Charlie. I was close shot the parts off wind runway 05, passing 600, climbing 10,000 for a parachute drop at Karamaki, Calandra. Yep. Alright, the airspeed is alive and increasing. And we have 50 knots. 60, slowly pull back on the stick. And we have a positive rate of climb, climbing out at 70 knots. Beautiful day here at Caloundra. Sure is. We're going to uh, Alpha Bravo Mike Radio. We're going to um, keep our Alpha climb Bravo going out to the, almost a golf course. Oh. Alright, clear right, centre, above, and left. Over Caloundra, RV37641. Overhead the northern tip of Bribe Island and passing through 2500 on the scene down Caloundra. Hyper instruments are all in the green, S for switches are all on, and H for hatches and harnesses are all locked and secure. And we are number one, two, three in the circuit by the looks of it. Launch traffic swing 8668 is turning base, runway 05 for circuits, Quandra. Number two. Traffic to Lounge RV3, are off undercarriage is locked and secured and the mixture is all good. F for fuel is sufficient for the rest of the flight. I for instruments are all in the green, S for switches are all on and H for hatches and harnesses are all good. Climate traffic sling 8668 is turning base runway 05 for circuits. Climate. So I've got control. Yep, control. That was good. I saw at least three consistently safe circuits there. Um, so if you balloon or bounce, what do you do? You go around. Good. Pull power. Go around. Climb good. to 70. Leave the flaps until you've got low on final. What do we do? Oh, the last 100 feet of final. Uh, we'll go around. Yep. Good. And if you're not feeling, 
any, we can't come up with any party approach, what do you do? You go around. Go. Good. So, yep, yeah, very consistent circuits. Um, the only thing I already had to say was, you know, making sure you say number two if there's another aircraft on base or finally you're behind it. Yep. Um, yeah, general amateur is very good. Um, decision making is good. Yep. Um, my thing is take your time. Just go and do one circuit today because we're getting to the end of the lesson. Yep. And I don't want you getting fatigued. Yep. Um, and just taxi back behind there, back cool. to where we were before. Yeah, okay. Yep. yep. Cool. Thank you. And um, no, you're flying really well. Thank and, you. And um, have fun. Thank you very much. All right, brakes are off. Climb traffic sling 8668 is taxiing runway 05. Climb. All right, everybody, this is very exciting. Going solo for my second time, or third time technically. Um, lots of great training from him at GoFly, which has let me get to this point. So we're about to enter runway, so we'll just check that there's no aircraft in the circuit, which there's not, and make sure we make our call before we enter the runway. Calandra traffic sling 8668 is entering a backtracking runway 05. Calandra. Alrighty, and make our way down the centre of the runway at a nice and steady speed. They technically say it should be a walking speed, but sometimes it's slightly faster than that. Still checking the circuit. There's currently no aircraft in the circuit, which makes this slightly easier. Flaps are one. All our instruments are in the green, and all our switches are correct. Always good to continue to check those things. So a little bit hot in here today. That's okay, nothing that isn't hot and steamy isn't great. <laughs> we'll be taking off 05, and our emergency procedures, if we have an engine failure before 500 feet, we will not turn back to the airfield. Uh, we'll most likely land on the golf course, uh, which is ahead, or Nicklin Way, which is one of the uh, roads to the right. Um, and aim for the best. If we have an engine failure above 700 feet, um, we'll see where we are on the circuit and we'll make an emergency landing uh, as appropriately required, be that back on 05, etc. All right, here we are. So we're getting to the end of the runway. We want to make sure that we are using as much runway as possible. So we'll make a slight adjustment to the left here. But all the way to the end. All the way to the end, all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Still checking that circuit, no aircraft. Yeah, big sticker right runner to flick us round. A little bit of engine power to turn that in. We'll come to a full stop here, then we'll make our radio call for takeoff. Commander traffic swing 8668 is rolling, runway 05 for circuits, collapse. All right, here we go. Okay, now this speed is alive and active, which is great. We're watching that uh, but I'm going to come up. We're at 40, 50, and we'll give a bit of back pressure on the stick. And we've rotated there, and we'll just wait for that speed to come up to 70 knots, and we'll climb out at 70. The aircraft's a bit lighter without another person in it, so it behaves slightly differently. We've got Damien down the tarmac there. I won't wave, because um, he'll be very cranky if I do so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are up in the air. I won't do too much talking now, because I've got to do a lot of focusing, but... Um, very exciting. Alrighty, flaps up at 300 feet. And we're trimming for that 70 knot climb. It's a little bit bumpy today up here, that's okay. Again, without the extra weight in the aircraft, the aircraft has a little bit more speed and kick to it, so we're just adjusting accordingly for that. So we're above the golf course now, we'll make our left hand turn, clear right, centre, above and left. There's a uh, large jetliner making his way away from the Sunshine Coast Airport. And we're approaching a thousand feet, so we will nose down first, power back, continue our turn, power back to 48, about 4800. And we will level off, there's one other aircraft now taxiing back on 05, and we will hop this just out to the mountain here, new uh, agreements with the residents, we will fly a little bit of a wider circuit. One other plane just getting ready on 05. Atlanta traffic helicopter Alpha Bravo Mike now descending on the dead side and intentions are to join a crosswind to runway 05 Atlanta. Atlanta traffic swing 8668 is downwind uh, for a full stop runway 05 Atlanta. 
Alright, this is our downwind leg. So we're all set, so brakes are off, undercarriage locked and secured, M for mixtures are all good. For fuel, this will be a full stop, so we're good to get there. Um, I for instruments are all in the green. S for switches are all on and correct, and H for hatches and harnesses are all locked and secured. Now I'm at the threshold of the runway, so we're going to pull our power back. Oh, traffic, helicopter, cloud drop. traffic, swing 8668 is turning base runway zero five full stop cloud drop. Alrighty, second stage of flap as we're now onto base. We're checking that no one else is on final approach. Um, we are number one for landing. There's a couple of other helicopters around. Last check on final. No one on final. Clear right centre above and left. Watching that airspeed, making sure we don't go below 70 knots. And we'll make that turn. This will be a full stop. Got a nice and clear runway ahead of us, so we are all ready to land. Uh, just trimming for those nice landing settings. Using our rudder to keep the nose on the centre line. And if at any stage we feel uncomfortable, we will go around, which is the golden rule of today. But if we experience a balloon, we're too high or we're too fast, we'll go around. At this stage, everything is looking good. And there we go, we're across the threshold, so power all the way back. We are flying straight and level. Waiting for that sink, waiting for that sink. Nose wheel down and we're slowly applying brake pressure. Pulling back on that center stick just to make sure that our ailerons are nice and secure. No other aircraft in the circuit and no other aircraft behind us, so we are all safe and good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I would call a successful solo circuit. It's been great learning to train with you all. And for those of you that are watching, listening, make sure you subscribe and uh, keep up to date with everything that GoFly is doing. Um, they're honestly making a huge difference, a huge difference in, in people's lives, teaching them and giving them the ability to fly. So um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, we'll bring our flaps back up to zero. And once we cross the yellow uh, threshold here, we'll make our clear of a run runway's call. One other helicopter just coming in. Cloud traffic sling 8668 is clear of all runways, cloud drop. That's our last radio call we technically need to make. Um, I'll come round to the left here, just because there's a few other aircraft doing their thing. I can open the canopy now. Uh, Calandra, Alpha Bravo Mike, going round 05, Calandra. Look at Damien standing over here waiting for me, the gorgeous man that he is. <laughs>